Hey guys, how's it going? It's Michaela, and today I'm wearing this uh, this fleece hoodie I bought in Thailand. It's actually like the only thing I can wear on days like this because we're now at the part of fall in Japan where it's like when the sun is out, it's really, really warm. And then when the wind blows, it's like freezing cold. And when the sun goes down, you die. So personally, like I like the hoodie up. I think it's really cute, but I think that that's not how I want to make this whole video. So I'm going to take it down. That's better. Anyway, um, if you've been following me on social media the past uh, week or so, I've been hinting that I had an announcement to make and I think that today is going to be the day that I, uh, I finally let you know what that is. So the thing that I have been a little bit nervous and excited to announce is that as of last week, um, I became a published author. <laughs> it's weird, right? <laughs> so at the beginning of this year, the Japan Times approached me with this idea. They wanted to create a um, social media English book for people who wanted to write captions or, you know, write short sentences and put them out there online. And yeah, we worked together to create this cute little Instagram based caption book. So the book itself is pretty straightforward. It has a photo and then it has a caption just like Instagram would. And uh, the caption is very easy, but it's native fluent English. And then down below we have um, other words that you can replace in the sentences to customize them and make them more relevant to you. So every page is a different photo and a different sample caption because <laughs> that's how books work. And um, when I thought of these sentences and when I thought of the examples, I thought about how um, when studying a foreign language, a lot of phrase books tend to shy away from like negative opinions or negativity. Um, and I think that self-expression is really important. So if you went somewhere and it wasn't that great, you should be able to be like, oh, you know, this spaghetti was disgusting. Or, you know, like this restaurant was overrated. This one wasn't, this one was great. But for example, if you went to a restaurant that wasn't that great, you could be like, oh, it was overrated. It was pretentious. It was okay. You know, I just want to give people options. Self-expression is really important. There are a lot of Fukuoka related photos because that's where I live and obviously I have a bias and I love Fukuoka. So there is a bunch of that. There's a whole chapter dedicated to kitten lawn and pet photos, but that's not all. I also have, you know, lists of hashtags that you can use per category. I have um, the apps that I use to edit photos on my phone, um, tips for taking photos, tips for learning English, apps that I recommend for learning English, and a bunch of stuff that, I don't know, hopefully Japanese people are gonna find useful. Oh, and there's a hashtag. So for um, language learners who want to study and actually use these captions or make their own captions and practice their English through Instagram, um, there is a hashtag in this book, and if you use that hashtag, I will be able to check the posts and I can like them, I can comment, I can interact with them and see them for myself. And if you want me to check them, you know, I can, send suggestions or corrections, or I can ask you questions about your photos. If you want me to directly interact with the photos that you upload in English, you can use the hashtag. Anyway, it was a really cool project, and now that it's like a real thing, and it's like in my hands, and it's so smooth to touch, and the colors are vibrant and popping, and you know, they've done a really great job with the design, it did not look like that at all when I submitted it to them, so they, they really cleaned it up and made it look beautiful, and I'm very thankful for that. But yeah, it's out, and uh, if you're in Japan, you can find it in... I think I found it in the English learning section at the bookstore that I went to the other day. If you do see it in the wild, take a photo and let me know, because I actually don't know how many copies are out there, and I don't know, like, how it's being displayed everywhere. Um, I have found it in Fukuoka at bookstores in Tenjin and stuff, and that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't really want to look for it and you just want to buy it, first of all, thank you. That's really, really cool of you. Um, second of all, it's, yeah, it's definitely quicker and easier to find it on Amazon. So check the link in the description if you want to order a copy. That's that, Instagram English, my first book, my name is on it, my photos are in it. My dog is in it, my cat is in it. I'm very, very happy about this. Thank you to the Japan Times for collaborating with me on this project. Anyway, so that's one thing that has been happening lately that is exciting. The other is that I've been traveling a lot lately, finally, again. Um, as you guys know, I went to Kochi with Sharla and that was a lot of fun. We had a great time exploring Shikoku and I had never been to Kochi and I had no idea that it was so beautiful and I ate so much katsu that I had to like go on a no fish diet for like two weeks before I could eat fish again not because the katsu was gross but because I had it literally like three times a day <laughs> and by the end I was just like 
Next week, I'm gonna have a video up with uh, Kim Dao and Tokyo Lens, and that's very exciting. We went and explored Greater Tokyo, which I realize is ironic considering Charla and I also made a video where we talked about why you shouldn't go to Tokyo. But yeah, that was also very fun, and it was very uh, fast-paced and hectic. I finally got to go to Mount Takao, which I know about from Charla's videos, and um, I've always wanted to check it out, and it was really nice. That video will be up next week, I think. I don't know, I haven't made it yet. But I will after this goes up, I promise. That's that's gonna be on, next on my list of things to do. Uh, next week, I'm going on a trip around Kyushu, so that will be fun. And after that, I don't know, I think I might be doing a little bit more traveling uh, before the year is up, and I'm really excited to kind of like get out there and take more photos and, you know, see more of Japan, because I feel like a lot of this year I spent at home, kind of being a shut-in, being a mopey shut-in, because, uh, I don't know, uh, why? I don't know. Sometimes my feelings get the best of me and I don't feel like doing anything at all. This is Sara and you might remember her from a few videos ago and if you haven't seen that video you might be surprised to know that we have a new dog, but this is Sara and she's wearing a sweater because I, uh, I tried to cut her hair myself and I did a very terrible job and then I had to shave it all off and now her hair is quite short and I'm worried that it's a little too cold now for her to be as hairless as she is. I know that some people don't like having dogs with clothes, but I feel like in this case, like, this nice little fleece is keeping her warm because I made a mistake and I will not try to cut her hair myself ever again. Anyway, I've got to take these guys for a walk and there's a coffee place that I like to go to when I'm walking them, so I'm going to stop by there and get a coffee and then I'm going to edit this and I'm going to put it online and I'll see you guys tonight. Well, except if you're seeing it, you're seeing me now. And then I'll see you again next week when I upload the Greater Tokyo video with Tokyo Lens and Kim Dao, and that will be exciting too. And if you live in Japan and you do see my book, let me know. Send me a photo on Instagram, tag me, uh, put it in your story. I don't know, just like show me. I want to see it. Because it just, it doesn't feel real to me. Even though the thing is, it's here and it's in my hand and it's a real like tangible thing, it doesn't feel real to me. So yeah, if you do see it in the wild, send me a photo, let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!